Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Nasrin Padasale. So this video is for those students who had given your Earth Sciences examination, that is Earth Sciences, Atmospheric Sciences, Ozone Sciences and Planetary Sciences for this joint CSER UGC NATE examination June 2021 today. I hope you all have written your examination uh, today and also the question paper uh, is also easy and those questions which you studied have been asked in examination hopefully. So this video is to dealt we, we are going to decode the statistics of this particular earth sciences examination with respect to the joint CCR UGC NATE examination. The same video also I can inform you how much JRFs will be awarded with respect to this earth examination every details will be dealt in this particular video so please don't skip the video let us get into the video so first thing we students after writing any examination we will be wondering for the result like when the response sheet will be released when the answer key will be released and when the cutoff will be released and when the result will be like that many confusions will be rising so this video is to provide you and to calm the mind of those students who have written this earth sciences successfully so hearts up to all students who have written the exam successfully and also I'll be praying you'll be safe for the upcoming days also, so you'll be, be healthy also. So this is to inform you about uh, this particular thing. So this particular NTA is the only institute which is involved in conducting all kind of examination related aspects. And already I had mentioned in this particular latest at NTA, you can, if you click on archive, you can try to extract various detail with respect to this earth sciences examination. Okay. So first can uh, I should tell you about uh, this particular thing so as I mentioned you this video is regarding decoding so here we are going to see the subject category gender wise number of candidate appeared and registered so here if you see for your sciences that is earth sciences atmospheric sciences and planetary sciences based on category wise they have released so what is an importance of separating the category mean general general EWS OBC SC ST means the cutoff mark and minimum mark that has been scored by the qualifying candidate will get way a lot and if you see here uh, most commonly uh, this is with respect to previous statistics I'm showing you and this has been officially released by NTA only and I had extracted from that particular website so if you see in general category uh, total number of candidate who appeared in general category is uh, generally uh, 3000 candidate had appeared but only 2000 plus candidates got written their examination and with respect to general EWS category only 532 candidates had applied and OBC non creamy layer student there are more number of students that applied on that particular day or year and we say SC there are 9 23 students that applied and ST 552 students that applied. Uh, appeared for the examination. So, the number of students who generally appear for this earth sciences will range us from 6,525 and actually if I can say minimum and maximum, minimum 5,000 students will apply and maximum 7,000 students will be applied. Okay, so if you to the down here you can be able to see subject or category wise number of candidate register or appear for lecturership and JRF. So here you can be able to see CR provide fellowship for both one is for JRF or so those students who cleared the JRF means can do your research in a various universities in CSAR and also you will be eligible for getting doctorate degree. While it's lectureship means assistant professorship, you will be adding an extra credit since you had cleared this national eligibility test. And total number of students who apply for this lectureship under this earth sciences, atmospheric sciences, ocean science and planetary sciences is around 1399 students can apply. But whereas if you take JRF means nearly 5000 plus students can apply for JRF. So total number of candidates who apply for the JRF is little bit greater when compared to the lectureship. And this is with respect to gender wise. Gender wise I can say males are applying greater when compared to females. So here you can able to see uh, nearly 6581 student has registered under this gender male and female only 3764 candidate had applied and totally 10345 candidate has applied for this particular CSCI or sciences examination but if you see the total number of candidates who actually appear for the examination this only 7823 candidate will be applied so this is with regarding to the total number of candidate who had appeared for the examination so let me share with you another important with regard to the result of the joint CSCR UGC net eligibility test. So every year how much fellowship will be awarded by the CSCR means they will be dividing. So since it is a joint CSCR UGC net examination, it is not simply a CSCR net examination, it is a joint CSCR UGC net examination. So fellowship that is salary or stipend will be equally divided and 
for 50 percentage of student or 60 percentage of student CSCR will give you fellowship whereas for another 40 percentage of student or 30 percentage of student this UGC will give the result so every year if you see uh, the junior research fellowship that is CSCR junior research fellowship uh, the candidate whose roll number are listed below had qualified the test of this JRF national eligibility test okay and for those students CSCR will give the fellowship so total number of candidate qualified is 2185 so this is not only with respect to your sciences here it is also with respect to your other sciences also okay and here you can able to see roll number along with the rank of the qualified student so this is how they generally release the result with respect to the pdf copy and this particular total number of student there are other categories also as i mentioned earlier it is a joint csr in gc net examination so here you can able to see total number of students who had qualified this uh, 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 test for JRF as per class of 3.1 hour notification. So, I will be discussing with you detail about what this mean by class 3.1 or not. So, total candidate has qualified is 87 under this 3.1 class of notification. Next, total number of students who had qualified uh, JRF uh, for those students, uh, UGC will give the fellowship. It is with respect to dividing of fellowship only. Okay, and all the question paper, everything will be similar. So, after the post examination, once you clear the examination, since it is a joint CSCR, UG and exec examination, CSCR will take 60 percentage of students and it will be giving you fellowship for 60 percentage of students for the throughout five years, whereas for remaining 40 percentage of students, this UGC will give. That's what the thing itself. Please don't get confused. And total number of candidates is 1656 candidate has selected under this UGC fellowship. There is no difference, nothing. It's with respect to providing of stipend and fellowship. And next, Total number of candidates who has qualified the eligibility test for this lecturership portion or assistant professorship portion. You can say totally 4,195 students has appear eligible and qualified this CSER exam for this lecturership or assistant professorship. So, the number is quite large. Even though the total number of candidates applied for lecturership portion in the air sciences is little bit lower, but this is with respect to whole sciences. You all know CSER is divided into five subjects, life sciences, air sciences, mathematical sciences, physical sciences and chemical sciences. So, this is how they can give it. So, if you add up all the things, nearly 8,113 student has qualified and 8,113 student will be provided fellowship given by this CSCR. That's the actual thing. So, CSCR HRDG will provide all the fellowship for the student. So, approximately we can keep every year nearly 10,000 students will be awarded fellowship. But if you see the total number of candidates, the total number of candidates who apply for the joint CSCR examination is approximately 2 lakhs. So, among 2 lakhs, only 10,000 candidates have been qualified for this CSCR UGC NET examination. And with respect to our earth sciences alone, earth sciences, atmospheric sciences, ocean sciences, planetary sciences, every year how much of fellowship will be awarded means it is since only uh, this earth sciences, atmospheric sciences, ocean sciences and planetary sciences, only little bit amount of students can apply. Whereas if you take life sciences under nearly 83,055 students, that is 83,155 students can apply for this life sciences, whereas if you take chemical sciences, there are 53 and mathematical sciences, 43 and physical sciences, 3 38,291. So, the proportion of the students who applied for this earth sciences is only little bit. So, approximately nearly uh, 500 to 1000 students will be awarded fellowship every year. Okay, so this is the usual strategy that I can say. So, as of now, this is only information that I can share with you. So, in the upcoming days, maybe tomorrow, I can give you uh, more detail with re related to what is the expected cutoff for this earth sciences because that is the most important thing. Cutoff is most important thing and various factors will determine the cutoff. So, this is what for those students who had given you exams today, I think this information will be a little bit quite useful so that you can be able to know what is the competition level with earth sciences okay and also uh, how many students will every year apply for the sciences and how many students will be awarded this fellowship so thank you friends thanks for watching this video